Hi, my name is Zach. I am the tech manager here at Clive Coffee. Today we are going to be showing you how to fix a squeaky brew lever symptom. Uh, now the, the brew lever here, you know, sometimes after uh, use, just general use, you're going to uh, experience sometimes where when you lift this, you'll kind of get a squeak. Um, and usually this can happen from just age. But if it happens more often to you, then this might be a sign that you might be back flushing with Kefiza too often. Um, you really only have to do that like once a month um, and you can back flush with water once a week. Uh, that's plenty in most cases, uh, just depending on your usage. So the first step in the process to get the camshaft out so that way you can lubricate it to fix the squeaking sound uh, is you would take a flat blade and you're just gonna unscrew the, the screw that's here that holds the brew lever in place. So once the brew lever comes out, just so you're aware, there is a little crush washer inside um, and you're just going to make sure that that stays with it. And so the next step in this process is to get your adjustable wrench and we are going to remove the pre-infusion chamber and this is just gonna help with access to the camshaft valve. So once the pre-infusion chamber is removed, you're just gonna set that aside. And then next, you're gonna use the adjustable wrench again to take off the camshaft assembly. So once the camshaft assembly is removed, you're gonna see the camshaft valve itself here. And this is what you're gonna be lubricating. So you're just gonna take some molly coat, you're gonna add it to the convex of the valve, and then you're gonna add it to the stem here. And this is just gonna go around the little camshaft gaskets that are inside. So you just push that back down. Just make sure it feels good here. And then so uh, with the installation of the camshaft back into the E61 assembly, you're just gonna wanna make sure the camshaft is facing in a down position for the brew lever. Um, and that's just so it doesn't get in the way of the top brew valve spring that's up on top right here. And so upon reinstallation, you're just gonna wanna make sure the camshaft valve is in the down position and you're just gonna put it inside. and then you're just gonna screw it back in. So you can tighten it all the way back down with an adjustable wrench. You're gonna reinstall the brew lever and it should go in the down position like this. You're gonna get that screw back in. And then you can kind of lift the brew lever just to make sure you feel a little bit of tension from the spring in the brew valve here. Now, in order to get the pre-infusion chamber back in, um, you want the brew lever back up. Uh, this is so that it doesn't fight against the spring in the pre-infusion chamber. This just makes it easier to reinstall. We'll use the adjustable wrench again to tighten the assembly down completely. And then the last test you're gonna wanna do is just to perform a back flush with a portafilter and a blank disc, a back flush disc. And so you'll just assert it into the group head. You'll turn the machine on. You'll lift the brew lever. You're gonna get confirmation of pressure at the brew pressure gauge, and you're just gonna let it run for a few seconds just to check for any signs of leaks. So we don't see any at all. Uh, so you're gonna lower that brew lever. You're gonna see a jet of water come down at the bottom here. Okay, so it looks like everything checks out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech videos.